Hello, this is Easy, and this is an update on this plugin here. Uh, this plugin here is called the Key Remesher Guides. This works with the default built in key remesher. Uh, this model was made by Bangs um, from Marvelous Designer 2. And we're going to use this as a demonstration. It's all tri triangulated. Alright, for this to work, uh, before I even get started, there's going to be a link below the video. You can download it and try it. And if you want to learn a little bit more about these other buttons, because I'm not going to go over them all, there's going to be a link in the video, and and you can watch it. It's going to be inside the zip file, so you just download the zip file and go into the README text, and there's going to be a link in there, and you can find out a little bit more about these other buttons. This is version B of uh, the Keymaster Guides, and it comes with the UV guides here. So with that said, we're going to be just concentrating on this uh, update of this new button here. All right, first of all, when you bring something in, it must have UVs. If it don't have UVs, this is not going to work. So if we go down to the UV map here, you can see we can morph this here. All right, it's got the UV islands. Uh, what's good about this, uh, these islands here, you can see uh, there's actually, if we look here in the, uh, right here in the shoulder area, I'll control click that. This is actually where I want to edge, edge loop at, right? Now, typically, I would have to um, draw out some guides in all these areas where all these seams are at, okay? Even edge flows sometimes. So what I'm going to do, instead of blabbing on, I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to select here. And I'm going to press always OK. Then we're going to get some of these guides. Let me turn down the double side here real quick. I'll control click this. And you can see this is where I want that seam to be right there. Or anywhere these lines are showing. Or guides. Alright. So with that said. We need to go in the next step. I'm going to want my um, curve sniff stiffness to follow these guides. Alright. I'm going to crank it up to 99. 100 will probably be too much. You can see it's still highlighted in there. So I want to just click one time to make sure that took effect right there. Uh, the second thing I want to do, if I bring my cursor over here, uh, I don't have my symmetry on. It's best to have a symmetry on by pressing the X key. So we have both cursors. Because if we don't and we key remesh this, uh, one side polygons might differ from the left to the right. So with that said, I'm going to press the key remesh or keep guides because I'm going to keep the guides when I key remesh it. Yeah, I'm going to pause the video. Alright, we're going to concentrate it up in this area right here. It's just finished and uh, it worked pretty good. It's not bad and it's worked out really good. Uh, it's recommended uh, to key remesh this without any guides at first but I already had the guides out there so um, what I'll do is um, I'm going to key remesh it again. Before I do that, I'm going to press save. We're gonna save that and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zoom in here and if you notice uh, it's following it fairly decent and also right down here in the arms uh, right here on a little bit on the bicep uh, polygons are not that even and uh, the, if we key remesh it over again this will more likely will help fix it so we're gonna concentrate in this area here and it's also going to try improving this uh, curvature right here. So it'll follow up a little bit better with the curve stiffness. So we're going to go ahead and key remesh, keep guides one more time. And we're going to keep an eye right here for right now. See if it helps even out these polygons. Okay, it's finished. And you can see right down here, they're all nice and even. And actually, uh, I'm going to hold my cursor up here and hold the control key down to hide the guide. And it's following. It's right almost right on the money right there and it's following all these little uh where these guides are at and this is where all my seams were at and uh basically this is where the arm right here would be my uh edge loop here i even got some straight ones down where my edge flow so let's take a really quick look at this real close and we're going to concentrate right here in this uh arm area and what i'm going to do is i'm going to load one up that I just key remeshed and it didn't have any guides and we're going to take a comparison so we're going to go ahead and import and this one was one that was key remeshed without any guides and this is what I got 
if I hold my control key down you can see where the guides are going across the grain of the uh, polygons that are they're kind of like uh, diamond shaped now and because they're not because there's no edge flow and it's not found it and it's what's called crossing over the uh, polygons and in the opposite direction and if we go back here and look at this one here it's got a nice good edge loop so this is the one that was finished and this one was key remeshed with no guides on it as you can see right there so you can see how the comparison the two are so I'll switch back over and turn that back on and you can tell the difference anyway thank you very much